Am I the asshole? For not removing the Disney items from my house. My husband and I are what you would call Disney adults. We used to work for the parks in college and met there. For us, it has sentimental value as well as being something we both loved from childhood. Now, we are conscious to not be those Disney adults. We can hold conversations outside the movies and parks. We both work well paying jobs unrelated to the company. We have other hobbies and interests. Our son isn't big on Disney and we're cool with that. It is just something that we enjoy, as well as our daughters. We nurture all of children's hobbies and interests. We also don't blow all our money on this stuff. I know I may sound overly defensive, but we get a lot of comments from people who don't know us well. Anyway, we live in a renovated farmhouse on a bit of land that includes a barn that we finished off, with hopes to make it a guest house one day. In the meanwhile, we've had a relative get married here and it was gorgeous. Now my sister wants to get married on our property and we were all for it. Everything's been planned for months and the wedding is in June. It's set to be outside completely but if it rains, we can move the party into the barn. The only reason a guest would have to go in our house is to use the bathroom. We have two on the first floor. The only Disney items are Winnie the Pooh hand towels. I told my sister I'd replace them with regular ones. Wedding space has no Disney items. However, she wants me to take down everything Disney on the first floor of my home, as guests will see. We have a lot of Disney items, pictures, paintings, blankets, Funko Pops, decorations, figurines, dishware, etc., all made for adults and a lot of it subtle or vintage, but you can still tell it's Disney. 1. This would be a massive undertaking. It's not as simple as shoving stuff in a closet. We'd have to pack it up and find a place to store. The sheer amount would require at least two hours of packing. Not to mention storage and unpacking, it's ridiculous to me. Who cares if people see? She says it looks tacky and she doesn't want people to remember her wedding for that. I told her no. We're decorating the outside and barn as she wants. We're letting her use our property for free, which she keeps bragging about to friends as it's saving them a ton. When my husband and I stood firm, she whined to our parents who told us to grow up and take it down. Not the asshole, tell her to rent portable bathrooms. Problem solved. No reason for anyone to go in the house. Tell her the inside of your house is now off limits and sister can rent a porta potty. Not the asshole. Your sister doesn't want her wedding to be associated with Disney. Your sister wants full control of the space and decoration. I have an idea she should rent her own venue. Seriously, enforce your boundary and say that's as far as you're willing to go. If she wants to change everything, she needs to rent a different venue. Not the asshole. Tell your sister she can go ahead and pick another venue. Your parents are assholes for siding with a brat. She wanted to get married at your property. She knows you have a lot of Disney items. She can take it or leave it. Especially as said items are in an area restricted for guests. Not the asshole. Your sister can go somewhere else or she and your parents can rent porto potties. Not the asshole. Your home, your rules. If she wants to avoid Disney stuff, she can rent a venue or put in porta potties. For her to demand anything of you is entitled in the extreme. Not the asshole. Not the asshole she is making unreasonable demands on your home. Who cares if you decorated your home with Disney, dinosaurs, or duckies? It's your home. You're already doing her a huge favor by letting her use the barn and property for free. She's being a choosing beggar right now. If the Disney decorations are that much of a bother to her, then maybe she should find a new location though I'm sure she wouldn't want that because other venues won't be free or so accommodating to her demands. Absolutely not the asshole. Even if you were those Disney adults, you're letting her use your property when you are under no obligation to do so. Perfectly fine to say certain things will be as is. That the amount of Disney items isn't outlandish is icing on the cake. 
not the asshole, she called your home tacky, but wants to use it as a free venue for her wedding? She does not get your home for free too. Good for you and your husband to rebuff her. You should talk with your parents or better offer her to do her wedding elsewhere if she so insists. It is really that infuriating. Not the asshole taking away the Disney aspect of it all, they want you to change your home in a significant way to accommodate guests to fit their wedding aesthetic. If they care to that extent, they may want to rent a few porta potties you can get nice ones for weddings and that way there's less wear and tear on your home, they can maintain the magic of their wedding day, and everyone wins. This is especially fair as you are not only giving her your property to use but giving away free labor to set up and decorate the space. No. Your home is not a wedding venue and you are doing her a favor anyway. No no no. Not the asshole. Keep your house as is or she can find an official venue. Not the asshole. You've already compromised more than I would have in your position. You might try saying, I'm so sorry our home isn't up to your standards. Please let us know your new venue. You'll be amazed how quickly your decor is due you as fine. The earth is 4.5 billion years old and the average person lives around 80. Do what makes you happy in life, fuck others who try and dictate what you can and can't do. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. You gave her an inch and she wants a mile. I think your sister, who is nearing 30 and planning to get married, is the one who needs to grow up in this situation. Your house, your rules. Nobody is going to care about your Disney items and even if they did, I'd imagine it would be positive. Everybody loves a blast from the past. Not the asshole. Is she paying you? Decorating a bun would cost at least $1,000. Not to mention the cost of renting it. Maybe she can do it herself? Or she could pay you? Not the asshole if she thinks it's tacky then she can hire a portal and no one has to go inside or invite her to find somewhere else. It's not tacky and there's no reason to do this. Not the asshole next time your sister or parents mention it, tell them the wedding will no longer be taking place on your property. Is she paying you for the use of your barn, and home bathrooms? If she is paying you enough to cover the hassle of moving anything Disney out of anyone's view, and moving it back again, then sure, move the stuff. But if not? There are lots of other venues that aren't on your property and that she can carefully screen for Disney. Nada. Maybe she would like to pay for a chemical toilet, some are pretty nice, so no one has to even go in your house. Personally, I think that might be the best solution. Not the asshole. You are being incredibly gracious and generous by allowing her to use your property for her wedding, and she is being unreasonable. Not the asshole. If she doesn't like it she can go with a different venue. Not the asshole your freeloading sister likely wouldn't appreciate all the decorations decor at a different free wedding venue. The only reason she is trying to pull this is because she thinks she can get away with it. Not the asshole what choosy beggars. Not the asshole, you're doing her a favor and she's being silly about it. Very very hard not the asshole. 